So we'll just move on to uh, the presentation by Srishti Meena Murray, so I'll make it a little bit more on catalyzing innovation. Thank you very much, Amita, for inviting Srishti to this table. I'm so glad I'm here to represent the uh, private college. We've been working in the space of art, design, and technology, what we've been talking the whole day. And I am so uh, privileged to be sitting here amongst all of you. Thank you very much. Can I get my slides on, please? I'm ignoring that kiki sound. Srishti was started in 1996. It was started by a group of educator, designers, and uh, people who were from different fields. Uh, we already had a whole day talking about why design is important for the country. I'm not going to revisit all that. I'm just going straight into what we do. So the question is, where does the, re where does the reality sit? Where does design fit into the discussion of design within academia? And the vision at Srishti, which has been framed, and we keep revisiting our vision, is shaped by the learning from history and looking beyond the curve into the new and hybrid futures informed by the industry, past, present, and future. Um, before I go into the next slide, which I start by saying we believe, that is a little disconnect. I want to say the story of what happened in Srishti 2000, in 2004. We had a, a think tank, which was mainly students, students from Bombay Architecture College, students from design who had come from UK, Senegal, France, Europe, different places in Europe. And there were 60 of them who sat in Srishti, and they were looking at the future of an art and design college 24, 25 years in. And this was in 2005, sorry, 2004. And some of the recommendations that the students came up, and that's what I'm saying because some of the recommendations that the students of art and design came up is what we believe in and what we have tried to follow since then. They said that this institution should not, should move on, sorry, move beyond the gated and the preserved. They should, the learning should be permeable and porous, allowing students to work at the level of the street and the bazaar. And some of the, the the studies that they came up was, why don't we look at the informal economies? Why don't we look at the one-day economies? Why do we have to look at the, I mean, go beyond the institution itself, go beyond the classroom itself, and to extend education beyond the gated and the preserved in exploring and experimenting with the textures of the rural and the urban. And these are things that came from the students themselves. Like while we are sitting here and deciding what should be design education, I'm trying to say what the students of art and design said, which should be there. Believing in that, the, that the learning should be embedded in real world problems and solutions. And all the pictures that you see here is all developed in Srishti through our various projects. I'm not going to any of our projects except for saying what Future Academy was all about. The project Future Academy, which was in which was a project which was brought in by an artist curator and who had worked with different colleges around the world to come up with these uh, ideas of what the future should be for an art and design college. <coughs> that knowledge is inherently integrated and complex. And this is a bio art workshop that we did in where we brought art and science together within NCBS, that is the National Center for Biological Sciences. So our approach, if you look at Can you just, there's no pointer here. <coughs> yeah. So if you look at that, uh, these are all our programs. So we have a foundation program, then we have fa uh, 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 specialization in aesthetics, digital video production, animation, product and interface design, textile design, liberal arts. And then if you look in the middle, 
we, this is how we follow our program, our courses, which is designing for the industry, designing for hum experimental, and designing for the humanity. So all our projects sits within the three spaces of industry, experimentation, and humanity. And if you look at these ones, these are all the different centers which are developed as research centers around the whole institution. I'll come to it later. And these are all the, sorry, these are all the advanced diploma programs that is our postgraduate level. We are moving beyond that. So this is designing for humanity, designing for business, designing for experimentation. And, sorry, this is how our years look like. Year one is the introductory program in art and design. Second year is the studio program, second and third year. The fourth year is project based. Now this is a system that we have brought in this year. We keep changing ourselves. So over the years we learn what is happening around us and we keep changing ourselves. And year five, we have started a new postgraduate program and we are now moving into the research program, um, mostly in collaboration with the Manipal University. So the undergraduate program I've already listed out, and the postgraduate program we are looking at these settings at critical studies, communication design, designing education, experimental media arts, museum and gallery practice, uh, multidisciplinary innovation and experience design. We also have a transcultural design which is in collaboration with the French University. And if you look at design, uh, we also have a one-year program for people who are already in working who would like to revisit the academics for further development. And these, that, that is again come from the recommendation from the students from the 2004 discussion on Future Academy. And also during the Future Academy they spoke about, okay, all right, this is going very fast. So these are the, so like I said, there is a main portion which is our undergraduate, postgraduate and the research program that we are running. Apart from this, based on people's uh, ideas and interests, Srishti has developed uh, centers that is a center for education, research, training and development, which is looking at developing innovation within school education. Then we have a center for public history that uh, looks at oral histories, histories of places, institutions, and then we have SEMA, which is the Center for Experimental Media Art. I'm coordinating that, which is looking at experimentation within art, design, and technology. We are working with artists who are working with science or um, in other creative interdisciplinary, which is beyond the creative field, like as we said. And we also have the labs, which is Srishti Labs, which is looking at innovation. And we have Kabir Lab, which is started in 2003 by Shabnam Birmani. I'm sure some of you have already heard about it. We also have a new lab, which is called Law, Environment, and Design. And we have Grids Lab, which is looking at grassroots technologies and innovation. Um, and something else that we introduced in Srishti in 2004 is the interim semester, which we look, we invite artists who, uh, who come with their project. And the framework for learning here is artistic practice. And uh, I'm, it is going to start now, in two, on November 11th, we have 22 projects, and with students are going to engage with artistic process of learning uh, from, for a whole month. And I feel it, it kind of adds to what the student learning is all about at Srishti. So at Srishti, we give equal in emphasis to art, to design, and to technology. And um, being a private college, it is tough, but we kind of move on and some of the things that has been said from the mon from morning that we are, like what Mr. Petroda said, we are not waiting for things to happen to us. We are going ahead with what we can. Thank you very much. <laughs>